And on top of all this, I also want to give you some idea about uh, the theoretical abstract ideas and even a little bit idea about the mathematics that underlies our current understanding of, uh, of the universe. Uh, because I'm a theoretical physicist. What I do is um, study the equations, try to understand the equations that, uh, that, that govern uh, the world we live in. And so I'd just like to give you a flavor of, of, of what that's about. Uh, at some point, I should warn you now, at some point, um, I'm even going to show you an equation. Okay, uh, you know that you can get sent on training courses for this kind of uh, this kind of thing. There's a number one rule. The number one rule is never show them any equations. If you show them equations, you'll just terrify them. Um, at some point in this lecture, you're all going to be terrified. So just <laughs> prepare yourselves. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, there's, there's a traditional way to start talks like this. Uh, the traditional way is to be very cultured and talk about what Democritus and Lucretius said two and a half thousand years ago and the ideas uh, that the ancient Greeks had about about atoms. Um, but you know, I, I don't want to start like this. We, we've made a lot of progress in two and a half thousand years, and you know, there's just better places to, uh, to kick off a, a, a science talk. 